Welcome guys to my podcast and welcome back to this channel, to this beautiful channel of Mark's Fish Care and today, and today I want to talk about a blood parrot cichlid. So let's start to talk about their typical behavior. Their typical behavior is uh, kind of uh, on the shy side. They like to hide a lot and especially if they, if they have these hiding spots guys, they will tend to do well in your aquariums because they'll know that they have that hiding spot where they can retreat to in case the danger comes. They get stressed very easily by aggressive fish and if they get stressed too much, it's not good for any fish of course. So do not keep them, absolutely do not keep them with any aggressive fish in your aquarium. If you would like to keep them with, in community tank, it has to be with uh, non-aggressive fish. They're usually the swimming along the middle of the aquarium and sometimes they like to go all the way down to the aquarium in search of food, like shifting through the sand, and maybe looking for foods, the, the food that is getting stuck uh, between the rocks. Remember guys, remember they're very, very messy. So you guys will have to do a very, very good cleaning of your aquarium because they tend to rip on food and create a lot of debris and a lot of mass. And you know what happens with debris? Debris gets stuck between the rocks, it gets stuck in your substrate and all of that kind of stuff. So make sure you guys are aware of it before buying a blood parrot. So let's talk about their appearance. They get to be about eight inches in general. So they, they're quite of a, a big fish. So you have to consider this before buying this fish because you have to have a minimum, and I repeat, a minimum of 30 gallons aquarium per one blood parrot. You can also keep a blood parrot by itself but it will do better in groups of two or more but that means adding an extra 30 gallons per fish and I would never recommend keeping any other fish if you have a 30 gallon aquarium and keep one blood parrot I would rather just invest the money guys buy a at least 75 gallon aquarium and you can uh, probably be okay with two blood parrots in that aquarium without any issues without adding other fish of course but you can also add the, some other smaller fish if you really want to get on the cleaning side and keep uh, up to date with your housekeeping job. So let's talk about substrate. Substrate is super important because you have to make sure you have sand as your substrate if you keep blood parrot cichlid. Blood parrot cichlids uh, like to dig. So if you have some, some substrate like rocks, they can damage uh, themselves and they can scratch and they, and you know what happens when a fish damages their fins or something like this, they usually die. So it's better to have a start fresh, go and buy sand and plus your blood parrot will be happy and you guys will be happy. Also, let's talk about temperature. A heater is essential in keeping blood parrots happy and for blood parrots to live long and nice life, you guys want to have a temperature anywhere between 76 to 82 Fahrenheit. So please guys follow this and you guys will have a very, very healthy and happy blood parrot. Also the pH should be between 6.4 to 7.4. So keep that in mind. It's not very easy to keep uh, blood parrots together uh, with different fish. But in my case, in my case, uh, I'm running a community tank. And in my tank, for example, I keep rainbow shark, I keep silver dollars and I keep a few Placos as well. So this kind of gives you the idea. Yes, you can keep them in community tanks and silver dollars for instance are very peaceful fish. Rainbow shark not so much but to be honest rainbow shark uh, doesn't cause a lot of problems in uh, to my blood parrot but in every case and every situations there could be a different uh, scenario to it. So don't take my word only for this to keep them with rainbow sharks with silver dollars, I recommend they'll be fine, but not with rainbow sharks. Rainbow sharks, it depends on your blood parrot and uh, circumstances of your aquarium. If you have an aquarium more than 75 gallon plus, then I think it should be okay. And if there's plenty of hiding spots, because uh, blood parrots are shy, remember. So let's talk about uh, uh, their diet. Their diet is uh, pretty vast because they're omnivores, so they eat both vegetation and meaty foods. So they will accept anything from live foods to freeze-dried foods to flakes 
but make sure you guys uh, have some type of food that will go down the tank because they have hard time feeding from the surface. So just keep that in mind. And in general, your blood parrot will be a very happy uh, part of your community and your beautiful aquarium. And also I would like to wrap up this video on uh, what kind of diseases and uh, are these fish hardy? In my personal opinion, yes, they are hardy enough and they will uh, survive lots of different uh, water parameters. But make sure you guys are always on top of your water parameters, always check them, always make sure the temperature is where it's supposed to be and feed your blood parrots accordingly and you will have one happy fish and you will be a happy camper as well in the end of the day. They're not prone to many diseases, but number one disease and very common disease that most of the fish get and blood parrots as well is of course ick. And ick is treatable with right medication and it's preventable as well. Make sure you guys quarantine your fish if you guys add a new fish to your aquariums. And if you buy a blood parrot, please quarantine him as well or her. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel because I'm working very and very hard by giving my knowledge to you guys and it doesn't cost anything for you to subscribe and it doesn't cost anything to me to help you with whatever I can help. If you have any, any questions, and I repeat, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me in the comments down below. I will make sure I will reply to your question or if you guys want me to make a specific video on specific fish, please go ahead and I will for sure talk about it with you guys. Thanks again for watching and I hope you loved this video and I hope it helped you. See you in my next videos hopefully soon.